Hi, I'm Michael. I'm with Moots. I've been a sales associate with Moots for four years now, and I'm here to talk about the Rogue YBB here today. Um, this is my personal bike. Um, I'm going to start here at the front end of the bike, and um, we're going to talk about the uh, 44 millimeter head tube that we have here. It's made to take a tapered fork for strength and durability. Um, we have a curved down tube that put the curve in here to give fork crown clearance on the bike. We have a curved top tube here, which gives us greater standover. Uh, we have a threaded bottom bracket. English threaded bottom bracket is standard. Uh, coming up the seat tube, where this is gonna be built with a 30.9 seat post, new for 2015. Uh, coming towards the back of the bike, we get to the suspension here. This is the legendary YBB suspension. We've been making this suspension since 1991. It uh, gives you about an inch and, a, inch and an eighth of uh, travel in the back. It's a pivotless suspension, so no pivot points here. Very low maintenance, dampens the trail, um, allows you to stay seated and uh, ride through the rough spots as opposed to getting bounced out of the saddle. Um, I've been riding the 26 inch version of this bike for, since about 1998. Um, and now we've transferred that to both the 29 version and now the 27.5 version of this bike. We have a through axle uh, rear end, so it's a 142 by 12 through axle, now standard on the 2015 uh, bikes. So some of the common options that we see on this bike, uh, of course you can get the third water bottle mount, uh, rack eyelets, fender eyelets are, are an option. Um, we, the new uh, Shimano internal uh, cable routing would be an option on this bike that's brand new uh, internal routing. Uh, so you can ride this bike as a single speed, get it built up as a single speed using slider dropouts. So uh, a lot of people uh, like to have that option if they're running single speed. So this bike you can get in uh, six different stock sizes, of course, with Moots, uh, with m most all Moots bikes. Custom is, is an option. You can get a full custom build on this bike. Um, I chose this bike because it's, uh, I've ridden the 26, had that for many years. I've ridden a lot of the, the Muto X 29ers. And uh, to me, this is the perfect blend of uh, quickness. The wheels roll over things really well. It's a good climber. It's quick out of turns. Fully built up like this, the bike's just under 24 pounds. So uh, it's a light, quick, responsive, fun bike to ride.